All right, so the last thing we've talked about was the VSEPR theory. And again, I remind you, VSEPR stands for Valence Shell Electron Pair Repulsion Theory. And again, it talks, it, what it does is define our geometry. It, it tells us that electrons want to get as far apart from each other as possible. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that all means and how that kind of works. Okay, um, first of all, what we need to see is how elements or get together to form compounds in these covalent bonds. So let's say we have H2O, H2O, all right? Now a hydrogen, due to the Lewis dot, has one valence electron. Now we have two of them, so since we have two of them, I'm gonna go ahead and write two of them, each with one dot, and oxygen has six dots. So there it is, six dots. Notice, let me go ahead and change colors here just for purpose here. All right, notice that hydrogen has one available on each of them. Each, let me put this down, have one available electron to bond, okay? Oxygen has two available electrons to bond. The two that are already paired up aren't available for bonding. So it makes sense that the hydrogen and one of the oxygens and the other hydrogen and oxygen can get together to form a bond. Now that's two shared pairs um, around each of the hydrogen and oxygen. So when we clean this up we get our hydrogen and we draw a line to represent a shared pair, oxygen, and it's important not to forget our unsharing pairs, and then our other hydrogen. Notice that we have two different hydrogens. You want to think of these hydrogens as different atoms. Now yes, they are the same atoms, they're both hydrogens, but we want to think of them as different atoms because we have an oxygen atom with two bonds, each to a hydrogen. Okay, so that's how we would clean this up. So our shared pair looks like a dash. Okay, so that's the idea behind there. Notice the difference between that and another type of bonding called a double bond. So if I kind of slash this off, if I go O2, obviously O2 is going to be a covalent bond. Oxygen has one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, it doesn't matter which ones are the paired and which ones are the available. Uh, on, this, on this green one, I have two um, available and two paired. And so there we go, let's do that. And now a yellow one here, oxygen, one, two, three, four, um, five, six. It doesn't matter that the two sh already uh, unsharing are the ones on the left or right, it doesn't matter at all. But what we do have is we have two oxygen, each with two available. These are going to do what's called, or what they're going to do is they're going to end up double bonding. Notice that if we have two sharings, one shared pair here and a second shared pair, we have a what's called double bond. Notice that this is different than the oxygen with the two hydrogens. In the case up above, we have two hydrogens. Yes, there's a bond, but that's just one bond between a hydrogen and oxygen. And here's a, another, its own bond. It's not double bonding to the same two things. Now we can have double bonds with different atoms. It's not like it has to be O with an O. We can have a double bond with an O and a carbon. But just realize that when we have a double bond, it's two sharings of, of the electrons from either of the um, atoms, okay? When I would clean this one up, oxygen with a double dash. Why a double dash? Well, because there's two shared pairs. Shared pair number one, shared pair number two, there are two shared pairs, all right? So that's how we kind of use our Lewis dots in order to put these things together, all right? I'm gonna do one more here. Uh, example before I get into the geometry of this stuff, but let's say we have, okay, carbon um, with 
four hydrogens, and you're going to see this as an example later, but carbon has one, two, three, four available. Hydrogen has one, but there are four of them, so I'm going to draw four hydrogens. And I think we all see that. We've got one, two, three, four bonds. Therefore, carbon has one, two, three, four. When I clean it up, bonds to hydrogen. Okay? This is not exactly how it looks. We'll see that when we look at the geometry. But notice that we've got all the single dots are now double dotted. They're all paired. You will never end up with one single dot all by itself. All right.